Hi there! Today is September 22nd, Tuesday afternoon, about 3 o'clock, and you have tuned in, tuned in to a, another live edition of Cooking with Dan. And you're probably, seeing, probably noticing right off that um, this episode has a very unusual title. Well, today I am making my favorite chicken dinner. This is my favorite chicken dish in the entire world. I've been making this a long time and I love it. And uh, whenever I make this, it always reminds me of a very old 1965 movie called The Ten Little Indians. Uh, sometime back then, I must have made my dinner and sat down and watched this movie for the first time and I just fell in love with it. It's a really nice old thriller type uh, movie from 1965 called The Ten Little Indians. Well, so much for that. So today we're making our chicken dinner. And I really got to step on it here because I got a lot to show you. This is going to be a two-parter, of course, because I haven't even started cooking it yet. I prepped it, and now I need to show you a bunch of stuff before I even start cooking it. So... Uh, Let's move the camera down here to show you what I got. What I got here is a big uh, cast iron skillet. This was Grandma Hale's, so it's probably older than my mother. And then I got another cast iron back here, smaller, that came from another relative, again, much older than me. Over here I got my vegetable water simmering and uh, that's what I'm going to cook my veggie in. That's that's going to be just water with uh, some margarine and some seasoning salt and let's just show you my favorite seasoning salt. It's going to be this. You can buy this in the stores here. It's called Lowry seasoning salt. been using it for a long time. I think it's really good stuff. I've tried making my own seasoning salt over the years but uh, I can't seem to get anything that I really like. Okay, so now let's go over here to knives, my cutting board. <clears throat> I have uh, just a standard cutting board, and what these are are just, these are my steak knives. Now I'm going to use these during dinner to cut the chicken, and I make my own steak knives. I don't buy any of this junk that you see in the store. I make my own uh, my own steak knives. These are boning knives and I've customized them. I've cut the bottoms so that they sit flat and I only got two here but that's more than enough and then I got a, a Frederick, Frederick Dick Steel and that's of course what you use to sharpen your knives. They're both pretty sharp but they're good to go. And then for cutting I use an old uh, a French knife here. <clears throat> very good. Again, it's very sharp. But what I use at work, and I don't use it here because my cutting board's too small, is a Chinese chef's knife. It's a very big knife. I'm the only one at work that has one of these or uses one of these. They're very nice. They're, it looks like a cleaver. It's not a cleaver. A cleaver is a completely different thing. But uh, I like my... Uh, my Chinese chef's knife, but I don't use it here. And then I got one more thing to show you here before we move on. And that's something that my work bought me back in 2005, 2006. And this is an actual Martin Yan from Yan Can Cook. Signature knife. I've never used it. It just sits in the box and looks pretty. It's never even been out of the the plastic case. It's, it's got his signature on there and everything. And they bought me that, surprised me with it one day. I don't know what it's worth or anything. It's just a really nice little uh, a Martin Yan Chinese chef's knife. So let's get rid of that over here. And now we got to get stepping on it here. <clears throat> all right, put all of our these over here. We we'll need them all now. We don't actually need to cut anything. I've done everything. Well, no, I've not done everything. 
I need to start that as soon as this video is over with, and then we'll come back with the finished product. So let's go to red potatoes. That's what we're going to have. Well, baby red potatoes. These are pretty big. When you choose your red potatoes, you want to make sure they're very, very red. And when I cut these, I'm just going to julienne them up really quick, and then we're going to fry those. And you'll see that later. We're going to have an avocado with this. I love avocados. I can make a whole meal out of avocados. And we're just going to slice this in half, take the pit out, and then uh, just... Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't want to show you that now. We'll come back to that later. Alright, here we got broccoli. I love broccoli. And that's what we're going to cook in the water. It's just regular old broccoli. Broccoli will take about 30 seconds in this water if I get it hot enough. If it's absolutely boiling, 30 seconds and it's got to come right back out. Broccoli is great stuff. That's going to be my vegetable. Now, let's move on to the chicken. And Oh my goodness, I'm losing time here. We just got some chicken breasts. Lovely chicken breasts. They are They've been um, they've been seasoned already with the salt. We're gonna have one of these, of course. And then my dipping sauce. And I was hoping to make that for you. I'm not gonna have time. This is just a really easy dipping sauce. I got several, but this is the most common one that I use. I like this. It's gonna be a one steak sauce, Heinz, Heinz 57 sauce and Tabasco. Now we're going to take a bunch of the high of the 57 and the A1 and we're going to mix them together and uh, and then put a little bit of Tabasco in here and it makes a delicious I think uh, dipping sauce for the chicken and the potato and in the vegetable. So again we're going to do that later. Have I left out anything here? I don't think so. No, I don't think I have. I think we're really ready to go. <clears throat> Got everything hot, but it's going to take about 10 minutes to cook this because we're going to we're going to sear the chicken breast in the in the cast iron skillet with olive oil, and we're going to sear it at a pretty high temperature, around 425 degrees. We're going to put the potatoes in there first, put some Lowry's on them. And then we're going to sear this at a pretty high temperature, like I said. Now, olive oil is not designed to take high temperature. you got to be really careful with olive oil. <clears throat> but if you get the temperature just right, it can take it. Olive oil is so much better for you than, than any of the other stuff, the, uh, the, the vegetable oil and uh, Crisco and all these things. Olive oil is quite expensive, but it's really good for you. So we're going to cook that. We're going to start our potatoes in there, cook them about six, seven minutes. And then we're going to add our chicken. We're going to sear the chicken at a really high temperature. We'll have some smoke. And unfortunately, olive oil does have kind of a foul odor if you get it too hot. But I'll have to keep a close eye on this and make sure that I'm not getting it too hot. It's very, uh, it's a very touchy thing. So, uh, <clears throat> but it comes out so good. It's so, so doggone good, my chicken dinner. I could make this for a whole bunch of people. And also, you don't have to have red potatoes. We could have rice with this. We could have uh, a baked potato, any kind of starch you want, we could do. So, uh, But today we're having fried red potatoes. Okay, I'm out of time, so I will be back, and dinner will just be coming up at that point. So um, we'll be right back. <laughs>